Welcome to the 2023 Toyota Hilux Rogue. This is currently the flagship model, sitting somewhere in between the previous Rugged X and the old Rogue. However, fans and buyers will no doubt be waiting eagerly for the new GR Sport version to arrive later this year. Aside from the pumped out wheel arches on the new Rogue, it is basically the most luxurious variant in the range, just like the previous model. The styling goes for a more sophisticated theme rather than outright rally-ready ruggedness. And in this colour, we think it looks fantastic. Strong and muscular, yet refined and well proportioned. The track width is increased by a whopping 140mm, and the ride height is up by 20mm, so it is more capable and not just a cosmetic package. In the back, the tub is lined with marine grade carpet, which is obviously not ideal for really heavy duty applications. But again, this is pitched as the luxury model, the foreman's car, and with carpet, you can carry more fragile items in here, such as the shopping, if tied down. It's all concealed by a smooth electric roller shutter. Toyota has made various changes and improvements under the skin as well, with revised front and rear suspension, a rear stabilizer bar added for the first time on a Hilux, and repositioned rear dampers. This all helps to improve roll rigidity and enhance the steering feel. The rear end also welcomes ventilated disc brakes, replacing the standard drums. Another clue that this is the luxury model is the fact that it comes with highway terrain tyres. These are mounted on 18 inch alloy wheels, up from 17s. With those big chunky wheel arches though, there is plenty of room to fit more serious rubber if you need it. Taking a look inside, it doesn't look all that different from before. That's because it's not different. While build quality and practicality standards are very high, the layout and design is pretty basic in our opinion. Some of the materials, while hard wearing, are also underwhelming in some areas. Passenger space is good and the driving position is almost perfect. The touchscreen is easy to use, but also a bit crude in terms of graphics and depth. Rear seat accommodation is at the segment standards, with climate vents and shopping bag hooks adding comfort and convenience. We couldn't find any charging ports back here though, which might disappoint some buyers particularly those thinking of using this as a family vehicle. No changes are made under the bonnet for the new Rogue, but Toyota did update the 2.8 turbo diesel not that long ago, lifting output to 150 kilowatts and 500 newton meters. Performance is about average for a dual cab four cylinder diesel. However, smoothness and refinement are well above average in our opinion. This is what it goes like. <laughs> 